Welcome to Amian's house. I'm Krista and today we are in the kitchen. We are cooking one of our Kuni Kuni pigs. His name was Sausage. And he is being cooked as we speak on a pellet grill from Broyo King. And Jeff is hoping to take a video and to be able to share that process with um, everyone. And so I'm in the kitchen doing a few things here and I thought that I would share them with you. Sausage was only, he's a Cooney Cooney pig, so they're lard pigs, and he was only about nine months old when we had him butchered, and the reason was because he had a hernia and we couldn't castrate him, therefore there was a possibility of taint happening with his meat, and we wanted to butcher him before that happened. He was always meant to be a pasture pork pig, and so he's called a suckling because he will be cooked as one whole pig, or I think Jeff had to said he had to cut it in half, cut him in half because of how large he was for the barbecue. So what I'm going to try today is rendering lard. So pasture pork, especially Cooney Coonies, are known to be lard pigs. They're a scent, uh, very good uh, homesteading pig because they have a whole lot of lard. So there's leaf lard, which is um, more internal uh, lard that is like the premium optimal lard, which we, for whatever reason, forgot to ask for and the butcher took it. But there was still some lard left on the pig when Jeff was going through last night trying to get the pig ready for the barbecue. So I'm gonna try and render that lard. And I thought I would take you through the process with me my very first time. I have no idea really what I'm doing. I've watched um, Jessica from Three Roos Homestead. So if you want to watch her do it, um, I will link the video below and we'll see how we do today. We also have other things happening in the kitchen today. Mackenzie is making a sourdough roll um, to have for dinner on Friday. That's tomorrow. And within it, it has sugar nap cookies and so she's made the sugar snap cookies just and she's about to put them in the oven she has the sourdough prepped and it's just rising over here we have bone broth in here and we have another set of bone broth in there on a couple days ago i had roasted several of our carcasses that we've had when we butchered them last fall because we separate the breasts and everything on some of our chickens and then we throw the carcasses in a bag to be made into broth and so I finally got around to doing three or four bags so there are, are about six carcasses that I roasted and then now they're both being um, made into broth so that will be done in a few hours I also have peas that I've shelled, just a little bit of peas that I'm now snacking on and I have to go out in the garden because I think there's more peas to do and there's possibly some kale to decide what I'm going to do with that. But first we will render the lard. So the first thing Jessica says to do is to cut it up into small chunks and then to get a pot on the stove with a little bit of water in the bottom and that's just so that the lard doesn't um, burn and then you turn it on to low and so we're going to do that. So I have a pot with a little bit of water. I'm going to cut this up into smaller chunks. The smaller it is, the faster it goes. So we will do that. Try to do it pretty small. Because this is from the outer part of the pig, there will be flesh and skin on it. And from that, apparently we will get cracklings. And I think I'm a little bit excited to try cracklings and see what that will be like. That's So I've cut all the lard up and that was left, that Jeff left me, and I now have it in a cast iron pot. And I have a little bit of water in the bottom so it doesn't burn. 
And then now I'm just going to let this melt on low and it can take several hours. So I will keep you posted and we'll see how it goes from there. Let's hope it turns out, I'm excited. It's been an hour that we've been rendering the lard. So I thought I would just show you what it looks like after one hour. I can get it to focus on it. So starting to turn brown. We're starting to have some liquid at the bottom there. And it doesn't smell terrible, but it doesn't smell delicious. Apparently you can do this in your crock pot as well and it takes all day and it makes your whole house smell, but it doesn't need as much babysitting. However, um, I feel like my whole house is gonna smell anyways. So I'll have to tell you <laughs> that, that is the case, but I think I can start um, taking some of this liquid off very soon. And when I do that, I will bring you along for that. Okay, so it, has been an hour and 20 minutes and we're getting lots of popping and cracking so I thought I would start so Jessica just says to scoop it off the spoon maybe isn't in the best it needs more of a crook and then you pour it through a strainer I'm trying to do it with one hand <laughs> And basically you just keep taking the liquid off and keep just rendering it down until you have what's left is called cracklings, which are supposed to be a tasty treat. It's been a full hour and a half and I've got all the lard. And when it's a liquid like this, it's this yellow color. And then as it solidifies, which could take up to 24 hours, it should turn white. And the more pure the lard, the whiter it will be. And then I've read that if it's the less pure, it will be a grayy, kind of maybe more yellowy color. So we'll have to wait and see what we get. We only got this one um, jar from that little bit of lard that we had and then this is also a byproduct of it and it's called the cracklings and it's dangerously delicious not locale at all but really fun it's not like we do it every day so it's kind of a fun experience i hope you enjoyed this little fun little video that i did about rendering the lard uh, for our first time if you don't follow jessica from three rivers and you're a homesteader go check her out. If you love canning or putting away food, uh, large families growing food, you'll be amazed by her account. It's fantastic and I'll link it below. She has YouTube videos and an Instagram account. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel too if you are enjoying these videos and I hope you take some time to simply breathe and I'll check you on the next one.